Okay, you guys, we're here today with Marcelo Garcia, a huge honor for me, at Marcelo's school in New York City, and the, the place that I lived in from 2013 to 2017, and it was my favorite time in life. And uh, guys, uh, today Marcelo is going to show us here all about his side control attacks for uh, no gi. Marcelo is the person who has the most submissions in the ADCC, probably like one of the most or the most impressive athlete in Jiu-Jitsu, considering like, his size, his weight, and everything he did, gi and no gi, and I'm super excited to learn from him about the side control attacks. So, so, Bernard, we had the best time with you in New York. Man. Thank you. You bring so much light to our gym. Thank you, thank you. But Bernard doesn't, have, doesn't help if we have one move and we don't have a continuation on that. Yep. Imagine if you have a great, great guard pass. Yep. You pass someone's guard once, and then you cannot control. Yep. Okay. You find you pass once, you can pass twice. If you pass twice, you can pass three times. But what happens is like you have to pass someone's guard like a five times. Okay, it's more tight than one time. And then you want the man, you pass the guy's guard like a six times, he recover. But then you go to a final, what is more important than the match before, and now you're tight because you have to pass the guard of your opponent like five times. So I feel very important when you have one great move, you need to have another great move. You have to keep a connection from that. So after you pass on guard, you cannot lose position. You need to move forward. And when you say move forward, not always you can make the person tap, but you need, you need to move forward to the back. You need to move forward to the to the mount. You need to move forward to a knee on back. And that's how I feel after you pass on back. After you pass on guard. So Bernard, um, imagine like a, I put so much pressure. You have the best pass that I ever see. You make someone's leg tired. Now that you just pass someone's guard, you're gonna keep squeezing. If I just keep squeezing here, Bernard, if I just squeeze your face, if I just keep like a waste energy against you and just squeeze you, I'm gonna make you protect more and more yourself because you've been under attack. So I feel like different about that because I feel like after I pass your guard, I wanna let you lose to move. I don't wanna go back to your guard. But I want to let you move. But I want to let you move towards a mistake. So basic is, instead of me just squeeze you over here, I start release you. I start release you not to let you uh, free, but I let you. Uh, uh, I, I, I try release you to let you make a mistake. So slowly I start release you. Instead of connect my hands, I start just control you. Instead of me just pin you down, Bernard, I start letting you kind of start getting on the hook. So you start getting on the hook. I'm not gonna make this easy. I'm not gonna open up and let you get a good on the hook and bump yourself out of that. So it's slow, I start get, let you kind of get on the hook. And once you get a good on the hook, and I feel like a, you're gonna move. You think you know what you're gonna do, but I feel like I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that I'm letting you do it. So when I'm letting you do it, Bernard, I know when you're about to do it. So when you're gonna bump, I step over. So, so basic, I'm, I need you to make a mistake because you got on the hook, you feel good you got on the hook. When you try breathe to get out, I step over. And when I'm step over, I must have a, a submission from this. That's what was the whole idea. So from here I go to the side and I really like this move. Uh, it's a very quick one if the person not flexible. I'm not flexible, but when you do this, you just kind of, you can really make the person tap. If you turn your elbow, how I feel you already turn your elbow, obviously you just go to straight submission. But the idea is like, a, imagine what I mentioned before. Uh -huh. I don't want to pin you down. I don't want to just pressure your face. If I just pressure your face, you're going to protect yourself more. You're going to start getting more like a crunch because I'm just squeezing hard. So I don't want to go back to your guard. I don't want to pass your guard again. I want to finish so I can go rest to the final, sure. to the next match. Yeah. Maybe the next match is the one that is going to be the, the, the toughest. Sure. So I'm holding you down over here. I want to make you make a mistake. And I start release you, and you don't want to get on the hook. Yeah. You still don't want to get on the hook. You, feel, you still don't feel safe to get on the hook from me. Yeah. But then, I put a knee on that. When I, feel, when I put my knee on your belly, I'm not going back to God. I'm not letting you recover. I don't want to. That could happen, obviously. I, I cannot control everything in the whole world. But I don't want to. I'm going to avoid that. But when I put the knee on your belly, I feel you start pushing me. I feel like, oh, now I see a reaction from you. Now that I see a reaction from you, I'm seeing what is my options. Because now you, you're not just tucking your chin anymore. So now from here, like I see like you start pushing me, 
I can phone on one, pull the other, and quick, quick I, coming. I can fall to your arm away. That's and, good and I'm not looking for to go back to God. Any of those attacks, I'm trying, and I'm trying to go back on top. I try, it doesn't work, I go back on top. Yeah. Basically, it's like, you got them the hook on me. You got them the hook on me. And you, you didn't breathe, you didn't bump, you didn't get out. So from here, if you, if you don't bump, if you don't try to really get out, I can just circle around to the other side. You got it. But, Bernardo, you, you still didn't make like a big move. You still didn't open up that much like a, to open yeah. for me. So I need to make you open up more. Yep. So I, I'm I'm open up, I'm loosening up, and you still kind of you still feel like very like a yep. precautious to open up. So now I need to make you open up more. Yep. A way that I feel to make you open up more, I'm gonna find angles. Yep. And the angles, I cannot just squeeze you. Yep. I cannot push you your arm against your body. I need to push your arms open. I need to push your arms like a, a, a around, across, up. Those things is like. Those are all things that we want to do when you're on the body. Yeah. When you're on the body, you don't want to extend your arm. When you're on the body, you don't want to reach too far because those things like open yeah. up for submission. So imagine like you're being very cautious to like how you want to expose yourself. But then I'm going to force you to open up more. So keep yourself tucked in, Bernard. Yeah. You're not doing much. So I'm going to start moving you. You don't want to move yourself. I'm going to make you move. Okay. So basic. Now, instead of you stay flat, I'm going to start make you go sideways. Stay tuck in and pull you sideways. Well, maybe, you don't, maybe you don't really want to go. But now, but now, then I, I start putting a lot of weight. And I don't want to just squeeze you, Benan. I want to rest my weight on you. Um, I'm not holding your arm, but I'm putting a lot of weight on your arm. And then what you're going to do is you, you start feeling uncomfortable, maybe you pull your arm back and you go back to the same position. I'm okay. I'm okay, but I'm starting to make you getting tired because I'm not just squeezing you, but I'm really trying like, to make you move. Yeah. And I'll go again. And I'm putting a lot of weight. And then you're going to try to do the same thing again, and I'm going to try to go back because you felt comfortable safe. Yeah. And then you pull, 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 pull. And then you go, that's <laughs> and then I push the other side. That's amazing. And you feel like, oh, my back is getting exposed. My neck is getting like a, out of the floor. I want to go back. And when you want to come back, come back, and then I... I have all my feet ground on the floor. Yeah. I make it really hard and then you want to go back. And then this time I felt a little bit open over here. Yep. Now that I felt a little bit open, now I can go to maybe to attack down. So sin is very simple, but when you do this over and over, and I'm not gonna let you breathe that much, man. I'm gonna go from one move to the other, I'm gonna go to one move to the other and pressure your arms and pressure every pressure that I uh, that I have, I'm gonna put against your arms. If you, I keep going over and over and over and over, I'm gonna make you really tired. To make your arms kind of yeah. get tired, get loose, get open, exposed. In that meantime, I'm looking for this, and you go back. You're doing for this, and then you come back. Oh my God, that's amazing. So imagine like a, your arm is burning, your arm is getting tired. You just like, oh, this guy is putting so much weight on my arms. I don't know why my arms feels like I'm carrying like a. I have 200 pounds on my arms all the time, and then you start to feel like tired, and then I'll, I'll go to the submission. Okay. So one more time, I pull over here, and you feel like, okay, I don't wanna go, I wanna stay here. You feel like, oh, I don't wanna keep going side to side, I'm getting tired. I go, That's I go to the good. So I feel like that pressure makes someone kind of give you something. But Bernardo, I don't wanna be lazy. I don't wanna just do, I don't wanna just do the, this and that. I'm, I'm constantly, I'm constantly, I don't want to make your arm cross just sideways. Uh -huh. I don't want to make your arm just cross sideways. I want to make your arms fall down too. Good. So, so the same way how I'm, I want to find angles under your arm, go back I want to find angles but to drop, that's, that's to drop amazing. your hands. That's once incredible. I drop your hands, I feel like your head, your neck is more exposed. And, and I, think I can go back again. That's incredible. But Bernard, I cannot do this only with my weight because maybe you're a very strong guy yeah i know you're strong but maybe your opponent is gonna be very yeah, strong. strong i cannot use my weight i'm using you know when someone's gonna push a car or a truck you see yeah. those old world strongest men the tools. they really ground like keep their feet on the ground yeah i'm i'm like a ground on the floor the whole time grinding, 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 i'm not grinding. resting my knees i'm not resting my butt 
I'm like putting so much weight, I'm right. putting so much weight, not against your chest. I don't want to make you tired by squeezing. I want to make you tired because I'm, I'm pushing your arms off. Good. I want to make you tired because I'm, I'm, I'm pushing your arms down. And then you want to bring your arms up. And I push your arms down again. And I push your arms across. And then suddenly, your arms start getting more like a fatigue. And then you start to open up more your arm feet. Good. Or maybe you don't want to open up your arm feet, but then you're like, Good. you start opening up more your neck. And I go to the neck. Good. And all of these need to overwhelm your opponent. I got it. No, and uh, guys, like, uh, while he was talking, I was just remembering everything he thought in this short time here. So, Marcel, you almost have to do a recap here. Mm -hmm. So if I turn on the knee, you turn the leg over and it goes to the monoplan. Yes. Right? And go to the arm. So that was the... This is a very strong move. Yes. No. That was the first one. Then the second one you showed was if you put the knee on the bed and I try to push you away, you, you go to the arm bar like right here. Right? Way. And boom. Oh. And yeah. then if you pull your arm back, you know, if I lose, yeah. If I miss, you go back on your back on top. Yeah. And look how my toes behind, I'm not resting my knees on the floor. Yeah. My toes is out of behind me. Yeah. And then if I try to just like stall here and survive so myself, survive, like some people say, I'll make you move. Yeah. That's a grand one. And then anytime you, my arms are low, no soft choke. I'll get a chance. Yeah. No, I must say, there's something that I didn't show here, and you were the first one I saw started doing that, and then everybody started doing it as well. Like, in the same way that you trap the arms with your legs when you're in the back, you also do that for the side control, right? I remember training, if you would always I trap my arms. That, man. I, uh, I'm glad you remind that. You know? yeah. That's a big part of the game. Can you show very quick, just an uh, example here? And I, because I remember you used to do that on me all the time. What people does not understand that like that. I don't have to only fight your arms with my arms. Yeah. I can fight your arms with my legs. Yeah. So the meantime that I'm working with this, yeah. I can always like a pummeling. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm talking about. I can always pummeling your arms with my knees. Yep. Pull, pull back, pull back. Uh, and then I can always pummel my arms yeah, with my knees. That's amazing. But I'm gonna make this very efficient. It's not just one angle or the other. Every time I see an open, I'm gonna try to pin your arm down. I'm gonna try to scrape your arm out of the way. Yep. Depending on what I like to do, maybe I'm gonna need you to have your hands like out of range of your neck. Maybe I, yep. I wanna have your hands be able to protect your this side of your of your of your neck. So I feel like my in between all this, all this pressure on me, I'm constantly trying to clean it up. And I'm cleaning up with like a both legs. And then I'll go around and then that's amazing. I always learn. So I don't want to fight your arms only with my arms. I need to fight your arm with my legs too. Okay. With my whole body. Yeah. Yeah. And if I have one arm trapped, you can attack the other one or you can attack my neck, right? Then I, I, I like to have this on the hook when I can because I have this arm attack. But I like to have your arm pin at the same time. Okay. And when I say pin, like it's pin with my shin. But once I step over, I like to step on your on your back. Just don't like connect yeah. your hands. That's yeah. incredible. Some oh. people, some people is strong. Some people is stronger than the other. Uh, but sometimes they're stronger here. Got it. Sometimes they're stronger here. Sometimes they're stronger here. Sometimes, they're, stronger here. sometimes they, they're not strong when it's already like a power center. You know, some people like, oh, this guy is so hard. If you guy has such a big arm, you cannot really like pull his arm away. But you cannot pull his arm away when his arm is connect. But before he connect, keep his arm apart. Good. I feel like uh, even if the person has a very strong arm, if you keep his arm apart, like pin your knee, your shin on his arm, or you step on his bicep, bicep is gonna keep him really like a uh, open up for you. No, that's incredible. Guys, uh, just think about your side control. When I think about my side control, I think about a scarf choke, I think about going to the mall, <laughs> see what Marcel does, there are like 20 different options, everything is combined and, and that explains like how, why he got so many submissions on, on, on his whole career, like so, guys, Marcel has a full instructional video all about side control attacks at bggfanatics.com, so if you're interested to learn more about everything he does in side control, make sure to check that out, and thanks so much for sending me, thank you, man. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel, just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed.
BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jiu-jitsu faster. 